Hi guys, Thomas here from Place Estate Agents. I'm just going to speak a little bit about the right and wrong way to use your building and pest inspection clause on your contract. So the right way to use it is to go along to the building and pest inspection report uh, or the inspection I should say and ask the inspector the questions uh, that you have then and there. The report is not going to read well. The report is there to protect the inspector. So make sure that you ask the questions when you're there. That way you get a really good idea of the things that are potentially wrong with the property, um, if there's anything structural or if there are any live or active termites or white ants or anything like that, uh, and any other issues that might need some attention. Once you know that, get in touch with the agent. Don't just send a uh, notice through your solicitor. The solicitors don't communicate very well between themselves and the outcome is not going to be good. So get in touch with the agent, make sure that you're keeping that dialogue open because if you actually want something that's reasonable, there's a good chance you'll be able to get that. The wrong way to use it is to cut the agent out, send a notice through your solicitor at the last minute and then put, try and put pressure on the sellers. It doesn't work that way. You're going to put everybody out and it is not going to be the outcome that you're after, I can promise you that. So make sure that you use the clauses there that are there for your protection correctly and you will get a better outcome that way. Get in touch if you've got any other questions. Thank you.